Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. Starting out this test, we've got 32% battery on our boosted board. All right, so I've got two interesting new products for you today. These are a 60 watt foldable solar panel and a 120 watt foldable solar panel. And then over there, I also have my 100 watt flexible solar panel. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to compare the charging rates of these three different kinds of panels and see if they match their ratings and, you know, fit the foldable panels into a backpack and things like that. First up, let's attach the flexible panel to the charger. Put my watt meter in line. And you can see we're getting about 67.2 watts out of the flexible, flat, non-folding panel. This is a 100 watt panel and we're getting 67.2 watts. All right, let's unfold these other two panels. Looks so like we are getting a little bit of shading on this panel, so let's move it a little bit more into the sun. All right, and so we are getting about 64, 63, 62, 61, 60 watts, somewhere in there. So between 60 and 65 watts with the current lighting conditions. It is a very sunny day. Well, there's a little bit of cloud cover. They're very light, fluffy clouds, though. It's mostly a sunny day. It is March. 16th, 2016. So let's disconnect this panel and attach the flexible panel. This is why I use Anderson connectors for everything because it makes connections easy. Okay, so this is the flexible 120 watt panel. It is not shaded in any way and it's only producing about 59.6 watts, maybe 60 watts on the high end. So even though this is a 120 watt panel, it produces less power than my flexible 100 watt panel. It's kind of interesting, it's a good thing to note. At 58 watts, our boosted board has a 99 watt hour battery. So 99 divided by 58, this folding 120 watt panel should take 1.7 hours to charge up the boosted board from completely dead. From half dead, it should only take, I don't know, 45 minutes, a little bit more than 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. So that's pretty good. Uh, if you've got 220 watt panels, hey, you're doing even better. Now let's take a look at this uh, 60 watt panel. Just unplug the 120 watt panel and plug in the 60 watt panel right there. Again, this one is not shaded in any way. So we were getting about 58 watts from the 120 watt folding panel. Theoretically, we should get, oh, I don't know, somewhere around 29 watts with the 60 watt panel. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're not getting 29 watts. We're getting like 26, right? So the 60 watt panel is even less efficient than the 120 watt panel. If you look at the construction of these two panels, they look like they were made in the same factory. They use almost identical USB and DC output blocks. They use the same strapping mechanism to fold them up and, and Velcro them. The, the panels themselves look a little bit different because the 60 watt panel has lots of little strips of silicone on each individual segment, each folding segment, uh, and they're very narrow. Whereas the 120 watt panel has full-sized sun power cells. It's got four of them on each folding segment, but they look like they were pretty much made in the same factory. So. I'm not sure why the 60 watt panel is slightly less efficient. Again, maybe it comes down to a wiring issue of some kind, I'm not sure. So we're making about 26 watts off of the 60 watt panel. 27 watts right now. Well, that's pretty close, yeah, 27.8. So let's, let's go with that. Let's just go with 28 because it keeps bumping up to 28 uh, slightly. So with a 99 watt hour boosted board dual plus battery divided by 28 watts, you're looking at a 3.5 hour charge time. So three and a half hours from completely empty. Now, if you're half empty, that's 
pretty much right back to where you would be with a 120 watt panel going full full empty, right? Like it's uh, 1, 1. 1.7 hours or roughly uh, an hour and 50, 50 minutes. No, an hour and 45 minutes. So here's the rub. What if you want to put these into a backpack? This one folds up easily enough. It's super light. It's about three pounds, maybe a little more. But does it fit in the backpack? Not really. You can see it sticks out a little bit. So I don't know how long that is. It's a little more than a foot, I think. Uh, you, can, you can check the Amazon product description. I, I link these products down below in the description of the video. So you can click through and take a look at these products and they've got the dimensions folded and unfolded. So you can, you can take a look at that and also the weights and things like that. Now let's look at the 60 watt panel. Folds up the same way. Super simple, really easy to use. But what happens when we put it in the backpack? Oh man, that one fits in the backpack perfectly. So here's what I'm thinking, okay? The 120 watt panel is like $360, $370, something like that. And again, those are today's prices, right? Solar panels are always coming down in price. They do fluctuate just like any other product. They go up and down a little bit, but as a trend, as a rule, over time, they're going down, right? So these will probably get cheaper over time. Almost certainly they'll get cheaper over time. So $370, $380 for the 120 watt panel, right? Now, what about the 60 watt panel? So the 60 watt panel, I think, was only about $160. So you could actually get two 160 watt panels, uh, I'm sorry, two 60 watt panels for less than the price of the 120 watt panel. You'd pay about $320 for two 60 watt panels versus $370 for one single 120 watt panel. And what do you get if you do that? Sure, you've got to connect two wires when you want to charge up your boosted board or whatever you're doing, right? You get slightly less efficiency because the 120 watt panel does seem to be slightly more efficient. But what you gain is you can shove that thing in the backpack so much easier. Also, if you find you need just a little bit more wattage, you can just buy another 60 watt panel. I mean, you can carry around three of them if you want, or four, no big deal, right? And you know, the price point to buy another one is, uh, is much better than the price point for a single 120 watt panel. So I think I really like the 60 watt panels. I think I'm gonna get another one. The 120 watt panel is very convenient. There's slightly less setup time. It takes less time to unfold one panel than it does unfolding two, but it doesn't fit in a, in a small backpack very well. You'd have to have a fairly large backpack to put that in there or, you know, a suitcase or something like that. So I'm thinking probably the 60 watt panels are more convenient and better for portability and carrying around and things like that. So anyway, both of them will charge the boosted board. I guess it's a matter of preference. This is Jesse with Create This. I hope you found this interesting or useful. If you did, click the like button down below. Uh, hey, if you hated this video, click the dislike button. I don't care, that's cool, man. These products, as I mentioned before, are down below in the description. There's a link to them. You can click right through to the Amazon website, check prices, etc., etc. order one, buy one for yourself, buy two, whatever. They are affiliate links, so I get a small commission when you purchase through those links, when you click through those links. However, it doesn't change your price at all. You still get the regular Amazon price. All it does is give me a small commission and uh, help me support the channel so I can keep reviewing new and interesting products like this for you. I've never seen these panels reviewed anywhere else before, so kind of a, kind of a new cool thing. Well, that's it. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.